Good morning. Today we are going to learn how to write formal and informal emails to apologize. Okay, so let's differentiate by the formal and the informal emails by um, by doing the exercises. So let's start by the first one. Look at the situation below. Decide if they require formal apology, informal apology, or it depends. The first situation. Losing something you have borrowed from a friend, it is informal. It's already done. The second one, uh, being rude to an adult, formal apology. Forgetting to invite someone to a party, informal apology. Arriving late for school, formal apology. Having an argument with a cousin, mm, it depends. With the last one, causing damage to someone's property, it is formal apology. Uh, the second exercise, read the two emails, which two situations from exercise one are the writers apologized for and which email is the most formal. So I'm going to do exercise two and the three together. And exercise number three, uh, read the emails again and find the phrases uh, the writers used to apologize. Complete the chart. I'm going to underline the phrases that the writer used to apologize. Okay. Let's read the first email. Hi, Clara. I am uh, I'm ever so sorry, but I can't find your copy of the Kite Runner. I feel awful because I promised you in March that I'd look after it. Now, I can't give it back to you and it is, my, and it is all my fault. The last time I saw it was at the weekend when I was on my way my grandmother's house. I think I must have left it on the train. Anyway, I'm going um, out now to get you another book. I will give it to you when I see you at the school tomorrow. I don't know what to say except that I am really, really sorry. So the expressions that the writer used to, to say sorry or to apologize are, I am uh, ever so sorry. I feel awful. I don't know what to say, and uh, except that I'm really, really sorry. Okay. So these are the expression that the uh, writer used to apologize. So write them here. Okay. Type. Uh, let's see the second one. Dear Mr. Wintress, I'm writing to apologize for breaking the windscreen of your car last week. I am extremely embarrassed about my behavior, and I accept full responsibility for what happened. The incident occurred in the afternoon as I was leaving school. My intention was to kick my football to a friend on the other side of the, of the car park, but unfortunately it landed on your car instead. My parents uh, have offered to help me uh, pay for the broken windscreen and so I would be grateful if you could inform me of the appropriate amount when I see you on Monday. Once again, please accept my apologies for the inconvenience I have caused. Yours sincerely, Jack Phillips. So the uh, expression that the writer used to say sorry or to apologize, uh, I'm writing to apologize for breaking, okay? I'm extremely embarrassed. Um, I accept full responsibility. Um, okay, please accept my apologies for the inconvenience I have caused. Okay, hello. Uh, which two situations of the exercise one? The writer apologizing for. Hello, uh, Nisbela Jasmine. Uh, she apologized for losing something she has borrowed. Uh, sorry, uh, she, she has borrowed from her friend. So, one, the first situation. Well, this one, Lilwa Jack Phillips uh, apologized for causing damage to someone's property. So, six. Okay. Type. Hello, which one or which email is the most uh, formal? This is informal email and this is formal email so informal and formal okay 
and as I said بالنسبة uh, للphrases or expressions كونو حكينا ان this is informal email so you have to write these expressions here and you have to write these phrases here okay طيب هلا number four look at the emails uh, again and number the points of uh, in the order they appear طيب let's read the points the first one apologize again say what will happen next say how you feel admit responsibility and apologize the last one explain what happened so let's read this uh, email again and to see type i'm writing to apologize so he apologized first okay then i'm extremely embarrassed about my behavior so here he uh, he said how uh, how he feel okay I accept full responsibility. Um, he admit responsibility. Then um, the incident occurred. Okay, so here he is explaining what happened to him. Then uh, he said what happened next, and at the end he apologized again. So let's number the points. First, apologize. Next, he said. How did he feel? Uh, then admit responsibility. Uh, explain what happened. Say what will happen next. And at the end, he apologized again. Can you see? Okay. Now, uh, again, uh, the uh, the form that the or that you should follow if you want to write an email to apologize first you have to start by writing the name of the receiver then apologize you have to say how do you feel about it what exactly happened what are you going to do next apologize again and write your name okay so this is the form that you should follow uh, if you want to write formal or informal uh, email, expressions that you will use, okay, or the phrases that you will use uh, to apologize, okay. But this form you have to follow if you want to write an email to apologize, okay. Okay, uh, let's do exercise number four. Sorry, uh, let's do let's read the writing tab. Uh, so here we are going to learn how to use in, at, and on with time. Okay, let's start by at. We use at with clock times, festivals and holidays, weekend and night. We use n with parts of the day, not the day itself, parts of the day, morning, afternoon, evening, seasons, months, and years. On, we use on with days of the week and dates okay so again on with days and dates in with years months parts of the days and seasons we add with the clock times festivals and holidays weekend and night okay Type. let's do the exercise together complete the sentences with the correct preposition the first one the weather is very cold in we have a season so in winter uh, so we don't uh, tend to go out night at night the last family celebration started we have a uh, clock time so at nine o'clock evening is part of the day so in evening in the evening uh, Saturday is a day day of the week so on Saturday uh, and finished space midday midday is part of the day and we said the part of the day with n so in midday or uh, on sunday number three weekend so at the weekend at the weekend we usually have lunch space two o'clock we have a uh, clock time and we said we use at with the clock time so at two o'clock Afternoon is part of the day, so in the afternoon. Four, they last went to a party, space December. We said with dates, we use on 
so sorry um with months this is not a day this is a month so with months we use in so in december last year she was born space this is a date so with dates we use on uh, 14th of september uh, 1923 uh, and got to married in um july so this is a um, month and we said we ma with month we use n with the last one she did space 2009 uh, this is a year with years we use n so in 2009 okay so now the last uh, thing that you should do you have to read one of the situations in exercise number one and make notes on the following questions these are the questions then you have to write an email to apologize for the situation you have chosen use the writing plan below so you have to choose one of these uh, situations tamam by then you have to follow this form okay and that's it